Okay, here we go. Uh, so the oven is having this issue that you turned it on and it didn't light up. Everything else on the stove worked. The, uh, the gas burners on the top worked fine. Um, you know, obviously there's electricity because the clock and everything is on. And uh, even if you put the, the, the dial on uh, broil over here, the broiler burner would come on, which is on the top of the stove, on the top of the oven. But the, uh, the bottom burner, the oven burner, wouldn't come on. Um, when you, you know, you set a temperature, it's supposed to kick on. Now, on these stoves, on these ovens, what happens is you a, uh, I've taken the bottom pan out here, this lane over here. Um, there's a burner, and there's this little uh, glow igniter. It's called an oven igniter, I think, on the parts list. Um, people call it a glow bar. But basically, so when, what happens is you turn on the oven, and that thing uh, is an electrical element, and it gets really super hot. And I believe that once it gets hot enough, there's probably like a thermocoupler or something. Or maybe there's just something that, you know, knows, hey, turn on the gas. It's okay now. The, the, uh, the igniter is, you know, fully on. And uh, so typically what, happened, what, ha what was happening was you turn on the oven. And normally you turn on the oven and before the oven would come on, you would see even through the slots in this pan... You'd see like an orange glow, which is that little igniter uh, glowing and lighting up, getting hot. But this time it wasn't happening. There was no orange glow. So, about the number one thing that'll go wrong in this oven is that that little thing gets bad. It goes bad after a while. And the nice thing is, is um, the first time it happens, you have a spare. It's on the top of the oven, which I've already taken it out, here's the here's the one that actually was in the bottom part. Um, just let me turn the light, see if that helps. So here's the one that was on the bottom part, right? It was the uh, the little glow thing, right? The glow bar or the oven igniter. But basically, you have a spare, and it's on the top of the oven at the broiler burner. Um, and most likely the oven one, the oven igniter is going to go out before the broiler because most people do a lot of baking and don't do a lot of broiling. So what you have to do is you have to, uh, if you want to use the one that's on the broiler while you uh, order another part, or maybe two, right, if you want to actually use the broiler again, um, you can, I, I had to cut it off. Uh, it's hardwired underneath. The the one underneath is hardwired, and the uh, the broiler one has a plug. Um, so I can turn off the light probably, and maybe see it better. Yeah. So it has a the the broiler one had a plug, so I just snipped off the ends of the plug, unplugged it, snipped off the ends, and uh, you know de detached it, and then um, put it in the same spot as the oven one, and then rewired it. I'm going to show you where that happened. So I had to, to get access to this burner or this, um, I guess this burner bar, or whatever you want to call it, this bar that emits the gas. I had to take that panel off. There's two screws in the back that hold that, that panel down. Two screws like this. Uh, sorry, it's not in focus, but you get the idea. And uh, so I take that the, the bottom panel off of your oven, and then uh, there's a screw right here that you have to take off. Because to get to the screws that hold this, this thing on, they're on the underside of the, the bar. So you're going to have to take this off. I, I'm afraid to touch it because I just tested it. It might be hot. But, and then there are two screws that hold uh, the bar on on the other side that you have to take out. And I'll show you those in a second here. So, Underneath, you have to take out your broiler pan or uh, your drawer. I'm sorry, it's not the broiler pan. So underneath, if I can get, if I can see them, because the wire nuts and everything are in the way. Sorry, dang it! Come on, wire nuts. Underneath, you see there's two screws that are holding that bar, and you have to take those screws. Those are uh, on my stove. They're quarter-inch screws, 
This is the GE XL44 oven or stove or range or whatever people call it. So once you take those two screws out and that one up top, you can just pop this bar out and detach the, uh, the igniter. And then I had to cut the wires and, uh, well actually when I came down here these were already wire nutted so I just unattached the wire nuts. I had to cut the broiler wires off the plug and then I wired them up. Now you see there's like a couple sets of wire nuts. What happened was the broiler wiring was a lot shorter than the oven one so I had to use some of the wire off of the bad oven igniter to get my broiler igniter to the the old wiring for the oven igniter. So, okay, so there's that. And and uh, I don't think it matters uh, what um, I don't think it matters really. So on the back of the, I don't think it matters what uh, what wires are connected to what. I think they're 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 not color coded or anything. They're not red and black or white or anything like that. So don't worry about that. But I'm gonna try this light. Okay, so on the back of the oven, there's like a panel here, okay, that I took off. Two screws to take that off. Here's the panel, but it's this kind of thing. It covers up that wiring, and then the broiler wire came out through this hole, and uh, the plug plugged into this thing. So the broiler igniter was easy to take off because you could get to the screws, and then it was just hanging there by the wire, and I unplugged it snipped off the plug and then pulled it out through pulled the wires out through the holes so i'm going to reattach this i'm going to go without a brother for a while until we can order the part the part is around sixty dollars on most sites new so uh i don't know we might just go without brothering <laughs> we hardly ever do that so anyway that's about it um and then once oh once it's all, see, I'm like putting my hand over the, you don't need all this background in my kitchen. Uh, once it's all wired up, and of course you'd put that panel back, but so when, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the oven on. So it's on, and then you'll hear it kick. I may have been talking when it clicked. Oh, there goes the click. Sorry. I was talking when it clicked. So I hear the, you know, the normal kind of like tick you get. And there he goes, he starts getting hot. Eventually it gets hot enough that the gas will turn on. And we had, now we're cooking with fire, right? Or baking, baking with fire. So now we can make our cookies and roast chicken and cakes, and uh, french fries, etc. It's funny how much you uh, realize, let me turn that off, uh, funny how much you, you know, realize how much you use your oven, and of course you don't know until it doesn't work. Alright, well, that was the whole thing, it's mostly for my own purposes, so that when this thing goes out again, I'll know exactly what to do, without having to kind of discover it as I go. And uh, if this helped you in any way, um, I'm happy if this helped you in any way. All right, that's it. Nothing else to say. Don't need to keep talking because the video is over. The end.